I gotcha. Well, hello everybody. My name is Brecton, and welcome to what I believe would happen if Luke had survived the ice in season two, episode five. But as always, if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications just to make sure that you don't miss any more videos that I put out. In this scenario, we're still going to have Luke fall into the river as his leg was still shot and the crack would have still formed, but he will crawl out of said river as there was a pretty big hole. He's not going to swim all the way where there's not a hole so you just have him crawl out the same hole same with bonnie if that's the choice the player makes but he'll still be freezing because it's very very cold water so they'll get to the house they'll warm up when they get back to the house luke decides to take a break from defending arvo and decides to focus on keeping himself from not dying of hypothermia however when bonnie mike and arvo steal from the group luke decides to pipe up a little bit and stands in the defence of Kenny, Jane, Clem, AJ and himself. So when Arvo shoots Clementine, Luke can't really chase after him, can't really do much, so he decides to give Clementine whatever medical attention she needs and what Carlos has showed him throughout their travels together. Now after Clementine wakes up in the truck, things are going to play out slightly differently here as with Luke being there, he's able to look after AJ and Kenny would not allow Jane over Luke to look after AJ. So AJ would be put in the hands of Luke, who would take great care because obviously it's the last member, I guess you could call it, of the cabin crew, or the people who he'd been with since the first time at Carver's. So this would stop the fight happening at this point, and by that cause, because Jane wouldn't be able to hide AJ, Luke wouldn't let it, and she just would not be able to get AJ from Luke to be able to do it. So this would mean that Jane would keep trying to start up Kenny but they would just keep going up to Wellington. They'd go up to Wellington and then they'd get turned away. Then Jane would pipe up and I think after this point then Kenny and Jane would fight and it'd be the same choice with Clementine having to shoot Kenny or look away. Now that is completely up to player's choice and we are going to go into both outcomes based upon this choice. In the Kenny outcome Kenny decides that they should all head down south, as was his plan in A New Frontier. So at this point, the player would have a choice to get on the boat, or not get on the boat. Which then allows for the, which then allows for the split outcome that the end of Season 2 had. And in the Jane ending, they arrive at Hal's later than they did, so the family would already be there. So this would give the player the choice to steal supplies, or, or don't steal from the family. Thank you for watching everybody who haven't enjoyed today's what if and you want to see a part two make sure you like subscribe and tell me down in the comments that you want to see a full-sized what if which will take us through all of a new frontier in the best way that i see fit but until next time my name is brecton and i'm out super slap